Now, more groups are claiming that the IRS has unfairly targeted them. This time, it's organizations that advocated for stricter voting laws during last year's presidential election. So, senior correspondent Eric Sean is here with us this morning. Good morning, Eric. Good so what morning, are these Martha. Saying? And good morning, Bill. Well, now two more groups tell Fox News that they were singled out. In Minnesota, the group Minnesota Majority says it's been operating for seven years with no problem tackling voter issues in that state. But its head, Demograph, says that in March, the IRS sent a compliance letter asking in-depth questions, for example, about what it does if it supports candidates or tries to influence public policy. If you look at the documents that we originally filed with the Internal Revenue Service when we founded the organization in our 990 forms, uh, they use a lot of the words that have been trigger words for the Internal Revenue Service's past targeting. It's like traditional values. It's uh, upholding the Constitution, uh, freedom, you know, those kind of things that were trigger words for the IRS agents uh, in the past. A Minnesota majority became known for claiming that 1,000 felons may have illegally voted in the 2008 Senate election there. That could have put Democrat Senator Al Franken over the top against incumbent Republican Senator Norm Coleman. Election officials deny that. Franken did go on to win that contest, Martha. Wow, that's very interesting. So what about the other groups, Eric? Yeah, and there's another group. Uh, this one happens to be in Wisconsin. It is called Media Trackers. And Media Trackers says when it applied for the IRS nonprofit status under the Media Trackers name in 2011, it waited 15 months without any approval. So its CEO, Drew Ryan, tells us that they reapplied under the name Greenhouse Solutions. And the IRS approved that name in only three weeks. It's apparent that the Cincinnati office was not operating uh, by itself, that these rogue agents were not rogue. They were simply following orders. And I think the question that remains, how far up the food chain uh, does this go? Well, we have repeatedly tried to obtain comment from the IRS about the claims from these two, uh, two groups, but the agency so far has not yet given us wow. any explanation. Martha? So if you want to get through, just name your group Greenhouse Solutions, <laughs> and, and you're in. You're good. Unbelievable. Eric, thank you very much. Right.